Okay, today we're going to take a look at Corbin. He's a uh, junior. Basically, he's telling me he's self-taught in the discus. So, here he is on the left. I'm going to compare him to Daniel Stahl on the right in a minute. Let's take a look at a few of his throws, see what we're seeing here. Looks like you're... Uh, Not getting very far across the circle. Let's take a look here. This is good. Wide knees. He's turning that left foot with the uh, left arm. Okay. Left arm's getting ahead of the left knee. That's fine. Left arm's horizontal. Shoulders are horizontal. That's good. Right here, you can see the discus is separated way behind his shoulder. That's good. So he's, you've got that behind you for some stretch. This is good right here. Let's see. Let's see when that right leg straightens out. Yeah, you never get that right leg straightened out here. Let me show you Daniel Stahl. He gets it straightened out, I think, near the back of the circle. Let's see, not this one. Let's look from the side. Right here. So you can see here he's got the uh, right leg totally extended, long left arm. That's the position you should be in right here. He's striving for, okay? Low left knee, driving into the center of the circle. Okay, see how his left shoulder's slightly ahead of his uh, right hip? You're uh, basically vertical here, okay? That'll help you, uh, having your shoulder a little bit more forward will help you drive into the circle. Let's see if you shift over any over here, let's see. And it's hard to tell. It looks like you do shift. The shift I'm talking about is the left side shift, which happens right here. You see how Daniel Stahl's angle of his body is towards his left? His armpit's basically over his foot. Okay, he's setting up an axis to rotate around right here. Okay, so he's gone from uh, being vertical here with his uh, torso right in between the middle of his feet to shifting his body weight over to the left side right there. So now he's got the angle here, okay? So he's setting up this axis right through here where he's gonna rotate around it like there's a pole there, okay? All right, so we talked about getting the right leg straight. You see right here, the discus is starting to catch up. You had it uh, behind your body more back here, so I know you have the flexibility. Here you're, you're kind of carrying it forward. Okay, try to keep that stretch. Let's take a look at Daniel Stahl, right about here. See how he's entering in, the discus is still behind his shoulder, and the shoulder is still behind his hip. Okay, so he's, he's developing the uh, sequence that's gonna happen later on where the hip, shoulder, then discus are gonna release. But to do that, the hip has to be ahead of the shoulder, shoulder has to be ahead of the discus. All right, let's keep watching you here. And you can see how you're carrying that discus forward, just kind of pulling it. So keep that thing extended as far back as you can. You had it at the beginning, just try to maintain that. Okay, right here, your knee and your foot, everything's aiming way to the left here too far. Let me show you Daniel Stahl here with a left knee. See how his knee, his leg, everything's driving toward the throwing sector, yours is driving way over here to the left. That's going to make you land to the left. Let's see. Hard to tell from this view. Looks like you're landing about in the center. But the other problem it creates is you don't land very far. You want to land at least... Uh, you should try to land past the center of the circle. Let's take a look at Daniel Stahl from the uh, side view here. Okay, he's got these white lines in the center of the circle so you can kind of see where he lands. You can see how he's landing. His toes just about right in the center there. Okay. You're, you look like maybe you're half a foot, maybe a foot behind. Okay. And here you want to uh, bend that right knee. Let's see if uh, that pendant's kind of in the way, but let's take a look here. Right here, you want to have a, a good bend to that knee. You want that knee bent so much it's over the toe. Looks like you're kind of doing it. See on Daniel Stahl's knees right here? 
and there's his toe. It actually looks like it might even be a little bit past his toe. Okay. All right. And here too, looks like you're bringing the discus up good. See, the discus will be low here, and then rise here. That's not too bad. Let's take a look at Daniel Stallman. at uh, pretty much right here. Okay. Discus right in line with the shoulders, left elbow, all in a straight line. So your discus can be a little bit higher right here. That'll really help with your uh, your uh, orbit. It's going to increase your orbit and you're going to be pulling the discus longer. So you'll get some good distance there. Um, Daniel Stahl does not wrap back with his left arm like you're doing here. So that's, I prefer that you do it like you're doing here. Okay. All right. Your base isn't too wide. Let's take a look at Daniel Stahl and his left foot lands. A little bit wider. Okay. Now you're both in the power position. You've got your knees and your feet pointing out away from each other. Um, your left foot and knee are pointing toward, call this nine o'clock here, or toward the camera. You want those to be more open. See how his knee and his foot are more angled toward the throwing direction? If you block yourself off here, you're not going to be able to um, get your right side around that left side. You're going to block yourself and your hips can't rotate. Yeah, you can see it's all blocked right here. So open those up more when they land to the toward the throwing sector, like you see Daniel Stahl here. Okay. And as soon as those block uh, land, then you want to start extending that left leg. Okay. See right here, he's got the bent leg, and then he extends it. He's stopping that left hip from moving. This is his block right here. It's like putting the brakes on in the car, blocking that left side, and the right side rotates around. Okay. You see how he doesn't uh, extend his right leg. It stays bent. He's driving that right knee forward. And everything's rotating. The foot's rotating. Everything's rotating around that left side block. Okay. He's trying to get that right hip, which is pulling the discus, out ahead of the left hip. Okay. Right there. You see as he releases, that left or right foot is still bent. That gives him this angle that you see here. All right, so let's go through some of the points with you. So you've got yourself blocked off here. Um, looks like your left leg is bent there, but I don't I can't tell if it's straight. Yeah, looks like it's landing a little straight. You want to land with both legs bent in your power position right here. Okay. You see how your body angle is forward? Okay. Right here through your chest, down. You don't want your uh, shoulders moving ahead of your hips here. See uh, Daniel Stahl's shoulders behind his hips. You want this angle here, and that's the angle you, which you're going to release at. Your uh, body is very vertical. Your left foot is already off the ground. So try to keep that left foot on the ground because that's what you're uh, pushing against. That's going to be a solid post, and the right's going to rotate. See how you're extending the right leg? So keep that right leg bent and keep turning that foot. Okay, you can see how high you're getting in the air here. And you can see your body's still going forward. So that discus is coming out almost flat and straight. You've got a lot of distance left in you. Okay, these, there's these few simple things that I'm showing you already. You've thrown about 125. I told you you could probably throw uh, 140 pretty easily by fixing a few things. So probably in a week. Be anxious to see... Uh, your next videos and some uh, news from you saying you have uh, increased that you're 125, about 15 feet. You could probably increase 15, 20 feet with just these uh, little things I've told you today. Okay, so don't uh, see your eyes are watching the discus as you're releasing it. Keep turning your head, okay? You're still watching it, okay? So this is all just on your arm throw here, pretty much. Keep turning the shoulders, keep turning the head. Let's watch uh, Daniel Stahl. See, he's looking straight up over here. Okay, he's not even looking where the discus is going. Now watch how he releases. Nice and high. I didn't see where your arm went. Let's see. That's good. You want to release it, continue up high and to the left. Okay. Now see how he turns his shoulders, his head. Everything keeps going around. Okay. Get your whole body into that throw. Don't jump. Keep the uh, right foot on the ground as long as you can. Keep that right knee bent. 
Keep the left foot on the ground. Don't watch the discus. Turn the shoulder, turn the head. Okay, I think I've given you enough stuff here, so uh, make some changes. Uh, send another video, and uh, we'll see where you're at. Want to hear about some big distance increases, all right? Uh, please uh, like and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel if you like what you're seeing. Thanks.